Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm doing something very interesting and I'm really excited to try it out and see if this works. Basically for today's video, I'm going to be doing green screen eyeshadow. Basically what a green screen is, is screen behind you, that's green, and people can go into different editing softwares such as iMovie, Final Cut Pro, Photoshop, etc. and change the background of their photo or video. Yeah. So basically I was scrolling through TikTok one day and I saw a girl who actually did a green screen effect but with eyeshadow. I thought this was a really cool concept and I wanted to try it out and make it into a YouTube video. So hopefully this actually works out. If it doesn't, then you guys obviously won't be seeing this video. So if you guys want to see one, how to use a green screen and two, if this works, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the purpose of this video is the eyeshadow and the green screen effect. So I already did my whole base off camera. I just used concealer, powder, did my eyebrows, mascara. Actually, I didn't go in with mascara, I lied. So for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using this Eye Magic Base Paint Palette. I'm gonna dip into the green, and then afterwards, I'm going to use a green eyeshadow and pack that on. Okay, now to set that all in place, I'm gonna go in with my James Charles palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a mix of these two green shades right here, and then we'll be all done. Okay, so now we are going to shoot some B-roll. We are just going to do a little bit of a montage type situation so I can have some footage to export onto my computer. That way we can get to the editing portion of this video. So let's just get started. Okay, so for this portion of the video, I'm going to be doing a few little different lighting things. I'm by my window so that way I can get some nice sunlight. I'm also trying to stand behind a white background so that way I don't let any other colors pick up on the editing software. Okay, so now we are just going to go ahead and start a screen recording. So the first thing that we're going to do is export all of the b-roll onto my laptop and then we will get started. Alright, so I have a total of five different videos and I have the screen launched. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with the first one. This one is 12 seconds long. I'm going to import it into Final Cut Pro. So here we flip the video. And now I'm going to use my preset. I'm gonna try using this black and white polka dot background I have and put it underneath the video. Place key on top. Oh, I did it! Oh my God, this is so dope. Okay, so tutorial. Like I said, I was figuring this out with you guys. So it's not my fault if it didn't come out perfectly, if my tutorial wasn't the best. So. Let me go ahead and explain to you guys what I just did with the screen recording. So I'm gonna restart. So I notice as I've been working with this and fidgeting with it, I've noticed that the type of video depends on how successful it will work. Um, some of the videos weren't as clear and precise as they needed to be, so they aren't going to work, but some of the videos did really well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and launch another screen recording. So this second video right here, which was 11 seconds, did really well. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that into the Final Cut Pro timeline. I'm gonna go ahead and go to effects and I'm going to use a preset that I use in all of my videos. Then I always go ahead and flip my videos because when I take the video, even though it looks fine, when I take the video, I'm looking at it flipped. So I like to keep it the way I originally took the video. So I went ahead and flipped that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get that stock photo. This little photo right here, drag that underneath. I'm gonna go ahead and extend it all the way out so it can match the length of my original video. I'm gonna go back into effects and I'm gonna type in Kier. I'm gonna use Kier, not Luma Kier. I'm gonna drag that onto the video and bam, you can see it looks so good. So you can see it looks really well. For some reason, it's picking up the light switch in the back, which isn't green at all, but that doesn't really bother me. And yeah, that is pretty much how you do it. So 
if any of you guys want to try this out i definitely recommend it it's super fun you guys can go crazy with the lines and stuff um, let me go ahead and shut this baby because she is roaring so keep in mind if you guys do use this effect and you want to do it on eyeshadow make sure that the green is predominant otherwise it won't work final cut pro won't be able to pick up the green as easily there are some tools on final cut pro where you can adjust the green screen but i tried playing with those and it didn't really work in my favor so yeah just make sure that the green is predominant make sure you're not wearing green of course unless you wanted to because that would be funny and for images you guys can just go and look for stock photos of different backgrounds but that is pretty much it so i am just going to create the final montage for you guys insert it at the end and we'll be all done if you guys want to follow me on instagram i'm probably going to be posting the final montage on there as well and i am a lot more active on instagram i'll leave it up on the screen if you guys want to check it out and that is it for this week's video so i hope you guys have a great day and enjoy bye